to Seattle, you guys. We made it here in Washington State. We're so excited for Seattle. We're joined by Brian and Maggie and Jerome. We reunited the Vespa tour. And today, as always, we're gonna start with coffee. Starbucks Reserve Roastery with friends. Jordan has already inhaled his oat milk cortado and I'm finally just getting around to mine because I had to order some food but this is their citrus sparkling espresso which has really been my vibe this summer. It's what I like to get at Stumptown back in Portland and it sounded good this morning so let's give it a go. It smells mostly like espresso. Oh, it's nice. It, oh, I heard my name for my food, so I'm gonna go grab that. This is very nice. Could use some sugar IMO, but delicious. I'll be back. Um, okay, so for breakfast, we have some avo toast, a chocolate croissant, and a beautiful brioche roll that I just couldn't pass up. Let's eat. So of course at the roastery you can get all the beans they offer. You can watch them being roasted live in action. And today we have quite the selection. We got a Brazilian, a Costa Rican, Zambia, Vietnam Delight, which is what most of our crew got today and it was very good. Puerto Rico, Hawaii, on and on, all the beans. Let's go. Caffeinated and good to go. We're gonna head back over to Fremont and take a stroll and see a troll. Oh, there's a natural We're doing a little quick pit stop by the Pike Place Public Market. Just checking it out. It's a little busy. We're not going to park and like, walk around, but we'll go out there and show y'all. You can't stop at a red light on this hill. It's so scary. I love it. You can't trust me. We're gonna this start is rolling like back. San Francisco status. Yeah, okay, Jordan has instructed that we get out and do a quick style vlog through Pike Place Market. So that is where we are at. We're walking around. It's a beautiful day. Take a big whip. Pike Place Market is done. The boys have made one single lap and I think they're having to go again because we've missed them. Honestly, it was a great quick trip. We didn't even have to park. Jordan just kept the car going and that was the perfect way to see the market. What did you think? Loved it. The flowers <laughs> are the best part for sure and the smell of lavender everywhere. Absolutely. Whoa. So gorgeous. Let's keep going. How was it? It was good. It was awesome. Thank you. So We've made it over to the Fremont area here in Seattle. This is actually where we're staying for a full month for all of August here in Seattle and we've fallen in love with it. It's so cool. There's so many different coffee shops, restaurants, very walkable. You can walk to like Gasworks Park, Lake Union, and our first stop that we're walking to right now is the Fremont Troll. All right, welcome to the famous Fremont Troll. I was just reading the little placard. It was built in 19. And was sponsored by the Fremont Arts Council and they had kind of an open competition where residents could vote on what art piece they wanted here and they came up with this troll. He's kind of friendly looking, kind of creepy looking. He looks like he was a pirate in his last life and he's like smashing a VW Beetle which is kind of cool. So we're just gonna play on it. Every time we've walked by it's been covered with children and people but on a Friday morning there's nobody here but us. I made it. I always see the kids climbing on it so I feel like I could do it too, right? He doesn't mind. All right, the troll's kind of fun, kind of creepy. Don't recommend maybe coming at night, come at daytime, so you don't creep yourself out a little too much. We're gonna go explore a little bit more of the downtown Fremont. The Fremont neighborhood's a little bit quirky. It's got some cool little art designs and installations like on every intersection. Check this out. Fun little benches. Check out the ground of little glass colors and marbles. Kind of brighten some things up, it's pretty cool. So one thing you cannot miss in the neighborhood of Fremont is this massive imposing statue of Lenin with blood on his hands. It's kind of, you know, 
serious in that it's obviously extremely political, but I think the point of it, according to the placard, is that like art outlives politics and it's kind of become much more lighthearted as of late. They dress him up for different seasons, but it's very interesting and you just can't miss it. And it immediately you're like, why? But for art, I think. Let's keep walking. Jordan really wanted to see the bridge and then the, ring, the bell started ringing, it's gonna open. This is very exciting. We've been here for almost a month and I've been wanting to see this bridge open the whole time. They're gonna let it ship pass. This is awesome. It's the little frills, you know, very exciting. Looks like the sailboat made it safely. All's good, let's go pop down to the trail. We made it here to the edge of Fremont on Lake Union. There's a cool little running pathway here. A lot of people running, biking, walking their dogs, all that good stuff. And one of the fun things you can see here, all the houseboats, it's just kind of docked on the side right by the pathway. I think you can rent some of these on Airbnb as well if you ever want to stay like on the houseboat. But it's pretty cool to see like they're on the water and you can walk out on the front porch, have your coffee right on Lake Union. Then watch the seaplanes. Check this out, it's cool. Welcome to one of my favorite spots in Seattle, Gasworks Park, where you can get beautiful views of Lake Union. Just behind me is the namesake of this park. That is the Seattle Gasification Site. So it was the Seattle Gaslight Company. Back in 1909, this was built and it turned coal into gas, I guess, to power the city. And it was added to the historic register of places, I think, in 2013. And now it's just like almost beautiful art that's just kind of settled into place amongst the most gorgeous views of the water. You can watch the seaplanes land and the boats go by. We're gonna be on one of those boats a little later. I'm so excited about that, but it is the spot. During the middle of a weekday, it's really quiet, but on the weekends, everybody's here picnicking, lounging, just taking it in. Our friends got in last night and pretty much since yesterday, it's been gray, overcast and quite chilly especially for august this texan thinks it ought to be in the triple digits but not in the pacific northwest but then i was just standing here thinking like this is seattle this is like what it's like most of the time we're kind of getting the vibe we've all got our jackets on it's feeling like the seasons are changing a little bit and i feel like we're getting the full experience somehow even when it's gray out your room is right behind you <laughs> as he should y'all have you seen his struts on insta highly recommend okay Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool. The lake here, Lake Union, is a seaplane runway. <laughs> you can just watch the seaplanes land and take off. It's so cool to watch. Cool here they have this pavilion with like all the old machinery and equipment painted it makes you kind of feel like i'm in like a batman episode or movie i kind of want to do like movie scenes through here running around doing some kind of parkour we're all a little bit hungry so food tofu oh what mm. a little smothered sandwich so we are here in Fremont at this Caribbean restaurant called Paseo. They have apparently the number one sandwich in America. And then Maggie and I both got the number one, which is the like pork the, shoulder. The garlic aioli on it is really, really good. And the caramelized onions. Mm. So I got the uh, tofu sandwich. It's very good. It's mother and some kind of sauce, but they asked me what kind of spice level I want. They have one through five. I picked three. It's lighting me up a little bit. That Caribbean spice and delicious. All right, from one Seattle staple to the next, we're here at Molly Moon for some ice cream. I think I'm the only one of the crew who's interested in ice cream, but I couldn't resist. I've wanted it this entire time we've been here, and it's a good excuse. Let's go. I went all over the top. 
I basically got their sweet cream, which is more or less vanilla, with their hot fudge and sprinkles. I think they make their own sprinkles and hot fudge in-house in a little waffle cup. Everything's delicious. They had so many fun flavors. I was very tempted by like the honey lavender, salted caramel. They had a really interesting like mint one. Anyway, it looks like everybody's really enjoying them. This is a must do in Seattle. Absolutely adorable, very delicious. This is the best ice cream I've had in like five years. This was their cookie dough ice cream, which comes with a cinnamon base and then oatmeal and chocolate chip cookie dough pieces in the ice cream. Dang, so good. <laughs> so we are here in the Queen Anne area at this park called Cary Park that has the best views of the Seattle skyline. You can see the Space Needle, the stadiums, the EMP, or I guess it's now called Museum of Pop Culture, but an amazing view of the city. We're on a boat. It is time for our private cruise around Lake Union. We are on a boat with Candoray Cruising. So far, highly recommend. First round was on them. Excellent bartending, <laughs> even better boat captaining. Let's cruise. So this is where Tom Hanks lived with his son. Dad? Yeah? There's someone on the phone for you. Right here. <laughs> They were turning coal into energy for the city and it shut down in the 50s but it was so expensive to remove the toxic waste that they had inside the facility that they decided to bury it so that hill that you're looking at is literally the facility that's been covered over by dirt and i think encapsulated like it's in cement or something but there's just toxic waste under that hill like the most gorgeous picnic spot on the whole lake you're sitting on top of century old toxic waste. It's about time to round out our little one hour cruise around Lake Union. It was gorgeous. We saw all the floating houses. We saw some really cool old ships over by the museum. We went by downtown. We learned a ton. We absolutely recommend this experience. We will always link it below. Highly, highly recommend. They do tours from one hour all the way up to four, and you can go explore far farther than we went today. We just did a nice little loop around Lake Union, but we're coming back around. But the day is not done. We have a couple more fun stops, and I'm ready. <laughs> We're here at Fremont Brewing. I have the Nitro Dark Stout, an oatmeal stout. Super excited to give it a try. Look at that foam. I went with their 2021 anniversary edition, so it's a stout with cherries, and that just sounded kind of fun. I was actually thinking about getting what Maggie got, which is some kind of like a fruity. What'd you get? A black set, a blackberry sour. Really? What's called you made? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I tried to call Maggie babe. Maybe I shouldn't have this. Anyway, I was thinking about getting that, but the cherry style just sounded kind of fun and different. <laughs> I was trying to play it off, but Jordan called me out. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you for my kisses. We were talking about dog voices and we all have the same. And it's just like, Mine sounds like Mickey Mouse. Oh, <laughs> and I'm here to be your friend. You sound like Talon. <laughs> Reaction. They love it. <laughs> or maybe they just don't care. <laughs> Excellent content. Excellent. I consent to posting this on YouTube. Thank you yeah. for all the internet to see. <laughs> Look at the doggies right there. They're just standing and looking at me. That is, that is a Mickey Mouse. <laughs> 
It is Mickey Mouse. Oh, I have the weirdest voice, I'm sorry. <laughs> Too funny. <laughs> Wait, so Can you hear it from all the way over there? We were talking. Yes. <laughs> We had plans to hit up the Mountaineering Club, which is over near the university, for dinner tonight, but we called an audible. When we were out on the boat, we were so enamored with like being near the water, and we saw all these cute restaurants on the waterfront, and we decided to switch our plans. We're here at Westward with no reservation, so let's all cross our fingers and hope that we can get a table. There's five of us. I don't know about that on a Friday night, but we're gonna try. Westward is like an upscale Mediterranean restaurant. I'm super pumped, the menu looks great. Our friends are in line right now to see what the wait is like. Let's go find out. We got a table. We didn't even have to wait. This is absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful views. Let's eat. What are you thinking about the clams? The tomatoes with the cheese, perfect. But the basil just makes everything come to life. So good. So Yum, y'all. Dishes are here. Both Jordan and I got the chickpea fritters. Maggie also got the chickpea fritters. I think it was the only vegetarian option on the menu. It doesn't matter. It looks incredible. Jerome got some oysters that look fresh and amazing. And then Brian got the duck dish. I don't know what all comes on it, but he got duck. Everything looks absolutely incredible, and I am ready to dig in. We are gonna round out this amazing day here in Seattle. It was gorgeous, it started out gray, so we got that classic weather, and then the sun came out for our boat ride and everything was absolutely perfect. Westward is the spot, y'all have got to come. The vegetarian option was excellent. The meat eaters options, also excellent. The cocktails were great. The ambiance, the views. I mean, can you see that? Perfect way to round out this day in Seattle. We will see y'all in the morning in the next video for Rainier. Oh my god, take the dirty empty.